Lastenbell didn't have a Lord of the Land either. We did see a couple of Seraphim, but it didn't look like they were living together. I can't see them, but they've been here the whole time. To think that it's always been like that is just... so friggin' scary! <sighs> but in the past, Seraphim were revered. And in return, Seraphim gave the people their blessing. That's how it was in the era of coexistence? Yep. But the humans came to only believe in things that they could see. That can't be helped. There's barely anyone who could see Seraphim like Saray and Rose. It's scary that there are people around you that you can't see, but... at the same time, it's sad. It's sad that they can't be noticed even though they're there. I wish everyone thought the same way you did, Rose. <sighs> Do you want something? Hey, you. My name is Rose. I know. Then call me by my name. Hey, Rose. That's better. What do you want? Quit doing stuff like that. Stuff like what? Riding on the shepherd's back like that. Huh? Did you see that? By chance. Gah, that's why Seraphim freak me out sometimes. It's careless to entrust your body to someone like that. But that was part of the plan! To catch them off guard and then mow them down! That's not something an adolescent girl should do. Mowing people down? Riding around on someone's back. There's something wrong with a girl being carried on someone's back? It's careless of you! I told you it was part of the plan! I give up. I don't get it. Miklio, look! It's just like what was in the Celestial Records. It's the Leaning Tower. Wait, that's... This aroma... This is edible. Snacks are ready. There must be herbs around here. It's raining. This sucks. Saray, look carefully at the ground. A goat, you might say. This is a goat? They don't look anything like the ones in Alicia. Don't they eat paper? Knock it off. You shouldn't give them man-made items. I'm sorry. You're quite right. You're very kind when it comes to animals. 
It's more that you folks are too rough with them. We'll leave it at that. So, Dezel, would these be cliff-dwelling goats? Yeah. They usually live their lives on the cliffs and go down to the grasslands only to eat. They even sleep on the cliffs. On the cliffs? That's gotta be brutal. Sounds quite uncomfortable indeed. From our point of view, maybe. But to them, it might be the best thing in the world. Hmm. It's true that they probably have fewer predators to worry about that way. What strangers feel as happiness is beyond our ken. Is that the sort of thing you're getting at? Pretty much. Are you talking from experience? Interpret as you may. So Ray, look around you. Gotcha, Gold. There might be something nearby. There's a treasure chest near us. Well, this doesn't look good. We're in a foul place. This feeling. We've been in places like this before. It's a crucible of malevolence. They make Hellions fight to make them nastier. Venomization. A diabolical practice. It appears this ruin was built to do just that. Who would make such a thing? I don't know, but there are several places such as this on the Glenwood continent. I had thought they had all been sealed up, but... Looks like they're back in business. This has to be held off. No question about it. We'll stop this! Something's blocking our way. It must be to keep outsiders from entering. It's most likely that only certain people are allowed inside. So, it's me alone, huh? A solo fight. If it were me, I could ask for nothing better. Hmm... Dragon Bang! Try this on! Blade Bang! Let's keep it up! It's over! 
Settle down a bit. Nice. All purified? Somehow. I'm so sorry for making you go through this by yourself. Yeah, we had it real rough too. Lila's been fortune telling with her origami flower things. Saray won't lose, Saray will win. Saray won't lose. Just like that. She left paper scraps all over. I had Mebo clean it up though. Of course I believed in you, but it was just so sorry for making you worry. Thanks, Lila. No, it's fine. My fortune telling was right after all. There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. That's... Ray, look around you. Hey, Mithlio, this one's cracked. 
We should be able to see what it's built with. Hmm. The building materials don't look like anything special. But then how would it maintain its current shape? Maybe they used seraphic arts? Probably. If so, that would imply that these ruins date all the way back to the era of the gods. I knew it! What's got you two all hot and bothered? I've wanted to see these towers since, like, forever. Leaning towers? They're mentioned in the Celestial Record. Just look at them! They're way bigger than I even imagined! And to think, all these years they've remained standing. Really? You're freaking out over some badly designed towers? Yeah, that's just what I was wondering. How do they get like this? The obvious answer would be tectonic activity. Yeah, but there aren't any faults anywhere nearby. Then could it be ground subsidence? I wouldn't write off effects of flooding either. What if they were built like this in the first place? That's entirely possible, but why? Yeah, it all comes down to that. A place of worship? A grave? A sundial? Possibly even a part of an elaborate seraphic art? Rose, what do you think? Me? Um, I think you both talk too much. <sighs> oh look! Ancient statues! I wonder what they're made of. This aroma. <laughs> 